Hi guys, join us today to rummage through our drawers and see how we pack up our California ocean. So when we first had our Cali, our very first Cali back in 2018, we really struggled as to how to load the cupboards up properly so that we didn't end up with things banging around all over the place, stuff rocking around and rattling as you're driving along. That's another awful, awful thing. So I can't put all of these things that we're going to show you here down to us. We did a lot of reading at the time through all the various different forums and things and what we've put together here is what works best for us over the last sort of three years or so of owning a Cali. So I'm going to start with the right hand cupboard here. Okay so here's your typical <laughs> California layout. So if I start with this one you'll notice here we've actually got a uh, sort of board on top here that we've used for some extra storage so I'll pull that out it's just got a um, anti-slip mat in it and we use that for things like the scissors a trusty can opener uh, bottle opener sorry this I highly recommend it's by a company called light my fire you'll find the description uh, below or the link in the description below and it's a salt and pepper um, little holder so you just pull back one of these there and it keeps the moisture out and it took us forever to try and find something like that that we're happy with so you've got salt and pepper then there's a third one that you can put whatever you fancy in so as i say bottle opener and some sharp knives we soon decided it was good to have knives with covers on them and um, this one's just an older one that we had knocking around the house i can't even remember what make that one is but this was a, a bunch of xylus ones and um, that we bought from one of the Cam caravan and motorhome shows at the NEC that's it, a few years ago now uh, just the old wooden spoon and we quite like having loads of these little Sistema pots around as well for jewellery right the way through to uh, nuts and seeds and bits and pieces like that so this works really really well for that now the interesting thing about this is it's actually a lid of a Kugis Ikea box and it happens to fit perfectly on top of the cutlery here to create that extra storage. So you can see in here a couple more of these Xylus knives um, again with nice covers on them. Do watch yourself if you do buy a set of these though because I have managed to cut myself on these by putting my thumb through one of the holes as I was putting the blade back in after washing it up so do be careful. Um, little sauce whisk um, nice set of um, knives and forks and spoons, lots and lots of teaspoons because we like our tea. Um, and then the other company that you'll see us talk about a fair bit of stuff, and we're not getting paid for this, but you'll know them, Joseph Joseph. They have basically created quite a range of various bits around the home for compact living. Um, and obviously a Cali is very compact living, um, so you end up with two tools in one. So a bit of a kind of silicon um, spoon and a bit of a kind of, uh, I suppose, serving thing, stroke flipping kind of thing there, all in one. And then as you'll have seen in one of our videos or two before, a nice pair of silicon um, Kadak tongs that we use on the barbecue or for when doing um, bacon sausages bits and pieces like that that all fits handily in there so Kugis lid and then that just sits on top there and if you line everything up properly in here you don't end up hitting the drain waste okay so moving down remember the, that um, Kugis lid that was in here these are Kugis boxes so um, we've taken the lid off this one here and that's what goes up in the top there and in here we decide that this is the kind of tea making coffee making station so um, box full of tea bags handily labelled up a couple of spare Nespresso capsules with some sugar in there again and another little Sistema pot more Nespresso capsules and cheekily some of those little Costa sprinkles packets that we've sort of taken a handful of probably incorrectly when we've been at one of the machines at the petrol station nice for a bit of a treat occasionally collapsible kettle 
the Nespresso um, Nano Presso thing, which you can watch the video all about here. And just some packets of hot chocolate and bits and pieces there. So that's one of the smaller Kuggis boxes and that just sits there. So it's not touching the back of the cupboard, but you can see there it fits perfectly. Really, really nicely. And it leaves you a good space downside here for various bits and bobs. So we've got um, some cling film, a good proper bread knife again, retaining the plastic cover that it came with so we don't cut our fingers on it. And some baby wipes, I think, are oh, back there as well. The, the other thing in here as well is the liners. Ah, um, yes. Which I think we've talked about that in another video, haven't we? But mm -hmm. um, the liners are brand drop liners specifically pre-cut for the California shelves. And again, it just stops those um, Kuggis boxes sliding around. Because in the T6 we had, we didn't buy those, did we? And we ended up um, cutting some felt and other bits and pieces, just lining it as best we could to stop stuff sliding around. And that worked okay too. So oh, yeah, yeah. you don't have to spend hobby a lot of money. Craft. Yeah, hobby it's craft. It's fantastic for just sticky backed felt and all manner of bits and pieces to sort of line things if you're wanting to stop well. the rattles. And that works really, really well. Looks like Lucy's really, really interested in today's video. Yep, the excitement is palpable. Okay, right, moving on. Down here, we have a couple more Kuggis boxes. So all that's happened, the difference between these two is that one's just turned around the other way. That's why you can't see the, the little hole in it, that's all. No, um, no, no, you're wrong. Am I wrong? Yeah. These smaller ones don't have a hole. I drilled that hole in there. Oh, did you? Yeah, because the hole's actually smaller than the other hole, but you can't tell. Oh. So if you want a hole, you're going to have to drill it. <laughs> I'm not doing a video on that. Okay. <laughs> you can drill a hole. Fair enough then. <laughs> right, so um, in this top one, there we go, lots of bits and pieces. Juice bar thing is just our uh, Bluetooth speaker and some spare bits of, sort of hand wash and things. Zip bags, really handy to have. A couple of spare kit, um, tea towels good amount of tartare sauce that we managed to find somewhere keep packaged up we do have to watch these though because uh, we, we went through a stage um, when we first had our van of um, collecting um, ketchups and brown sauces and bits and pieces and they basically do just evaporate and turn into vinegar so it's probably not going to be good for a massive amount of time but go and um, some matches um, a handy stain remover for when we'll drop something down his top again. M mustard on the seat <laughs> from a hot dog. Oh, what else have we got in here actually? Uh, some handy bits in here. So, um, the lighter. Works better than the one in the house. Yeah, I don't know quite why we've got that as well as matches. So we're probably doubling up a bit on things in here that we don't necessarily need. Potato peeler. The kind of things that you, you need them when you need them, but you end up kind of carrying them around a fair bit. This, again, Sorry, is that a Joseph Joseph? it is another plug for Joseph Joseph. This is the tin opener. Look how small it is. It's brilliant. Love it. I, I don't actually know how that works. I think it'll have to figure it out at a point, won't we? <laughs> Most of the things you end up buying, though, are... Um, they seem like a good the, idea the, the, the They've time, got the, they? the sort of ring, ring pull lids, but you can guarantee at some point you're going to buy something that you're going to need a tin opener for, and yeah, that's the smallest that one we true. could get away with. Spare sponge thing, and one of the most important things. Oh, yeah. How is that in the second drawer down? Why isn't that in the primary drawer? Well, I think the problem you, you is, is that the vast majority of the time you end screw up screw tops, screw don't top. you? But again, when you need it, you need it. And again, another shameless plug, sorry. Joseph, Joseph, now you, I'm going to take a little bit of time just to actually show you this. You need to email them. <laughs> <laughs> because this is a fold-out set of scales. Now, if you like us, and you quite like a bit of porridge or something occasionally, and you quite like to be able to uh, just weigh what it is that you're you're mixing up there with your milk and your porridge oats and things. This is superb. So uh, you've wanted one of those for a long time, haven't I you? Have. And you, and you well, you actually bought it secondhand on eBay because you weren't prepared to spend how much it was. New. It was, but it's brilliant. And we have used it actually a co good couple of times since I bought it. I think even for portions of pasta yeah. and rice and those kind of things, it's quite handy just to have, isn't it? And it's so small as well. Yeah, it's brilliant. 
Really? Okay, so last in this side is the final bigger cookies box, the one that actually comes with a hole and doesn't have to be drilled by well. <laughs> um, so you can see we've put the lid on this, which means then that that smaller one that we just showed you um, could be stacked on top of it. Lucy, that's not massively helpful, Poppet. Sorry about Thank the dog. Thank you. <laughs> you sit down. Good girl. Oh, we're having a drink. Right, okay. So if we pull this one out, take the lid off, you can see in there um, milk frother for when we finally got some hookup somewhere. Um, lots of little miniature gin bottles, mm. um, which I fill up at home. I buy them as the miniatures and then just fill them up because it's a far better way um, of bringing any spirits with you uh, rather than bringing the, the really big bottle unless you're uh, particularly highly consuming of your alcoholic spirits. Up to you. See the Outer Hebrides videos. <laughs> That's not spirits. <laughs> uh, and the plug-in kettle. And you'll see, obviously, as, as well, oh, again, a good few of these <laughs> um, hanging around. And again, really good for just um, sealing up packets and loaves of bread and things like that. So tend to find most some of those in most of our um, little storage areas. And then to the side of that, I'll just get that out all the way. So you can see here, one of these doesn't exist for this bottom cupboard. There's so we end up that. using a... Uh, a sort of one of these anti-slip mat things to stop it moving around and that's basically because uh, Brandrup want you to have the Thetford Porta Potty 335 um, stored in the kitchen cabinet. We have one of those but we keep it in the boot. I don't particularly want to take up a whole yeah. kitchen cabinet with it and they're quite heavy um, even when they're, they're, they're empty and haven't been used and trying to haul it in and out of there I don't think it would be particularly easy. Um, so the last things you can just see in there are uh, the little plug-in heater with the thermostat, um, handy to get out in there. And I think it's some spare toilet rolls that we've just got stashed yep. in the back of I the I think there's a there. roll of bin bags in the back there. There's a roll of bin bags too, yeah. yeah. So we're over to the left-hand side of the kitchen. Right, what do we have in here? Okay, so you can see this, another one of these cookies boxes. Um, pretty empty at the moment because we're not actually away camping and we keep this empty apart from we'll stock some biscuits in here. Um, we use this one essentially as our pantry. Um, I know a lot of people use the under the um, bench drawer as their pantry but we seem to get away with using this one for it to be honest. Um, another good tip, I know I've just showed you a potato peeler but something like that. Um, dead easy to uh, to feed and another one of these hanging around in there as well. So that's again one of the bigger cookies boxes. Uh, some kitchen towel. There we go. Another one of these nice non-slip mats in this side and it's just a nice big space then to stock anything in there that you want to pop in there. One point to note is that there is a light in here um, and if I just switch it on there you can see where it is now we originally used the the right hand side of that cupboard to put things like um, our collapsible washing up bowl and it covered the light um, so it's only once you've started stacking things that you realize that there's potential problems so ideally stuff, so, so if you want to be able to see what's in that cupboard try and keep things over to one side of it the yeah. tall stuff so anyway. it doesn't cover up the light because if you put that box on the right hand side you wouldn't get any light in there so, okay, first world and then <laughs> moving down, we have one of these curver baskets. So we've moved away from IKEA, shock horror. And we bought this from the range and we went with one of these because you can essentially just treat it like a really big bin, I suppose. <laughs> um, but for stacking up all of your crockery and bits and pieces in there. So we're using some Van Gogh um, bamboo and um, the bowl. dog bowl. There's actually a couple of them in there. There's picnic bowls. These ones are Lakeland, um, which I talked about on the video dog, that dog I did video, about I the dog, dog and camping accessories. Um, our beautiful Vanex wine glasses, um, a couple of nice um, drinking glasses that are plastic. Rubber bottom. With rubber bottoms, stop them skidding around when you haven't managed to get your levels quite right. Um, a did we get, we get those from the shop in Amsterdam? We did. Camper Centrum. Yeah. Same place as the bin. Yes. Yeah. A uh, little mini chopping board for your limes or That's your lemons. It's a zeal one. There. Um, so this is all the Van Gogh stuff. So what we haven't done is brought 
all of the Van Gogh stuff with us. It's a set for four, but we only ever tend to use two bowls at a time. Do tend to keep the four mugs in case we are um, tea and coffee without being uh, doing the washing up. You can see in here, because stuff does rattle around in here, this is the non-stick felt from Hobbycraft, uh, which works really, really well. Um, and the curver box there, this thing came from the range, I think it was. Um, I think you can probably get it from home base and various places like that, but I like it because it's got a big, nice big handle on it so you can sort of grab hold of it and pull it out. And then the final thing just down there, um, actually I probably need to get this out all of the way for you to see it. Let me pop that out of the way. Okay, it is a flexible chopping board. Now I'm going to have to Ikea. do a bit of trying to remember, were they Ikea? Ikea. Got Pack of three, I think, something like that. Yeah, we've had, oh yes, it says Ikea on them there, no, there. So they've got a slightly sort of um, more scratchy side on this bit here for when you're actually doing your chopping up. And this side's kind of more rubbery grippy, so it doesn't slip around a huge amount. It's great, actually, rather than carrying around a really big, thick chopping board if you want something a little bit bigger. And you can either prop it up somewhere or you can literally just slide it under one of the boxes. And they're great. Right, so I've got the job of doing the drawer underneath the bench. So let's have a look in here and see what we've got. So because we've got these carpets, we just have to lift this very slightly when we open it up. Try not to hit the dog in the face. And there we go. Oh, no. uh, so what we've got in here then, uh, as you can see, is first of all, the front for the ISO top. Uh, so we leave that folded up in there. It's about the, the easiest place to make sure it's not going to get damaged uh, when we're moving around. So leave that in there. That's our collapsible washing up bowl. This is an outwear one. You can get camper ones. There's various different designs. I think they all come out of the same factory, to be honest. Uh, so that's that one. Uh, then we've got uh, a pot and pan set here. So this is Tefal Ingenio pans. And again, we've, we're have starting to sound quite anal, aren't we, about this, but uh, we've used a load of these between them so they don't rattle around in here. These Tefal Ingenio pans we like though, because if you're going to use a, a proper big pan, they've got these collapsible hand or these uh, removable handles. So you can open the handles up, clip it on. There you go. Uh, so we've got two handles and a whole heap of pans in here. So we've got a couple of different size frying pans, three normal pans, and they just sit nicely like that in there. And there is some dog treats in there, but I won't talk <laughs> about those too much because otherwise Monster will be at them. Uh, so this is a universal sized uh, silicon edged pan lid. Uh, this is from Lakeland and again quite handy just to have in the van so we're able to use it for any of those three size of pans. It works on all of them. Uh, our beloved Ridge Monkey which actually we're starting to find that this is so good we're starting to find that the Tefal Ingenio feels as though it isn't earning enough to be in our van anymore. So controversial, controversial. I know, but I tell you what, that worth its weight in gold. And if you haven't seen me make a toaster yet, you need to watch some of the Outer Hebrides videos. <laughs> Just amazing. Or even what I do with it when we're at Smithy Fields, which is a video coming up very soon. So wait and see that. Um, Collapsible silicon colander. Again, if you're doing rice, pasta, those kind of things, you're going to need something like this. And again, it's quite small and easy. Uh, it doesn't rattle around, obviously, because it's silicon too, so it's quite handy to have. Um, silicon trivet. Um, thought this was quite handy, again, because if you've boiled a kettle and you want to shut the lid and put it on top, we don't want to scratch the lids or anything like that. And eventually when we get a vinyl or something on there, just to jazz it up a little bit, we don't want to burn the vinyl or melt it. So again, uh, this is a cheapy Ikea one um, that we've There is a there. nicer one that is lives um, in the, the secret uh, slide out panel. Secret slide out panel. But we didn't have on our T6, but the T6.1 comes with the secret slide out panel. Now you've lost me. Oh, pan. Oh, ah, this secret, the slide, secret out panel. slide out panel. And you're talking about, guess what? What make is it? It's Joseph Joseph. It's Joseph Joseph again. <laughs> um, I like this because it's like a little person who waves his arms around. Um, but, but yes, that, that's actually the one that we use more often than that IKEA one, but that's useful to have too. Um, yeah, let's not talk about any more of that in there. Um, 
Then we've got a uh, head torch. Uh, this is an AA or AAA battery one on purpose, just in case we're out and about and can't charge it for any reason or whatever, um, just for taking the dog out at night and going to toilet blocks and things, it's quite handy. Um, this is a dimmer for the cotton ball lights, uh, which uh, we've done a video on, but uh, probably haven't shown you the dimmer working. Just, it's USB either end, so you just plug it in line with the power and then you can dim them at night, uh, which is handy. Strap for the table. Um, so if you don't know what this is, watch the video up there, you'll see, that's clever. Uh, gaffer tape, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just in case. Emergency yeah. gaffer tape. Uh, random peg, uh, there's all sorts in here. Uh, these boxes, by the way, these blue boxes, these are Ikea uh, scub boxes. And they're fabric, uh, there's a zip across the bottom, so they come flat pack. Open them out, do the zip up boxes arrive like this and this they come as a set of four actually yes, uh, a set of six the... there's two small ones as well but they fit just brilliantly in here mm. uh, this um oxo brush set uh it brilliant. does more than you think so yes it's a brush and a dustpan but that rubber lip on there is great for taking dog hair off carpets um i could use it like that what, and just actually brush the dog <laughs> Well, I tell you what, if I do it on here... Oh, this, speak of the devil. This will have a look. shameful amount. Look at that. Look at that. Disgusting Oh, dog. Lucy. Disgusting. Um, <laughs> and the person I've got to thank for that was one of our first ever subscribers. Uh, a really, really nice guy called Marcus. So thank you, Marcus. Use it nearly every time we go out in the van. It's fantastic. Good find. We had a really, really cheapy kind of nasty dustpan and brush to start with, and it was really cheap and nasty. <laughs> it was, yeah. It was so static. It just, oh, yeah, it, it did it more didn't. damage than, than it yeah. than it cleaned up. Um, down the side here, we've got uh, fly killer. Um, we've also got wrapped up in here. Um, that's just some of that anti-slip stuff that we've wrapped around the couple of big stakes which go in the ground for the hold downs for the awning. Um, so again, there's some straps which hold down on the awning. Again, have a look at the video up there. We did a quick video on those just for anyone who's interested. That's the big stakes uh, uh, which are there. Back here, that's the emergency tie down kit for the roof. Um, so in case the hydraulics fail and you have to put it down manually. Yeah, not, not planning on doing a no. video on that. Uh, first aid kit, just a small one sits in there. Obviously, we've got the handle for the wind-out awning, which is where it normally sits anyway, uh, just in there. And then towards the back here, USB charger for our Oral-B toothbrush. It's all essentials in here. If you wait for two weeks, you're going to need it. Um, Citronella candle, try and get rid of the mozzies. Couple of spare tent pegs. One into four adapter for the uh, mains plug if we need it. Don't tend to need it. Uh, dog grooming brush. Rubber brush in case we need it for really, really large amounts of dog hair. And then over here, we've got our mozzie light. Again, we've talked about this before, but it's a handy little light which has got a ultraviolet inside which attracts them in to kill the little devils. Uh, and it's also got a really good light in it too, which has got three stages. And you can hang it up and everything else, which is quite handy. Um, and then a rubber bottomed jug, just measuring jug, uh, just for uh, anything that you need to uh, get a specific quantity for. So that is the contents of our under seat drawer. So it's probably quite handy just to finish off with a few of these bits of the back here as well before we just do the final bit, which is the garage. So this little pull out piece here, which on some of the later T6s and the 6.1s, you get this little piece here. Um, before that, you didn't, it was just a blank panel. We just uh, use that for bin liners for our little bin. As we showed you just now, the uh, trivet that we use quite often. Some ear plugs uh, in case we're on a site which is particularly noisy. And then these little tablet looking things here, they're actually small flannels, which if you put one of these in water, it turns into being a flannel this kind of size for helping you wash and everything else. So just there, just in case we need them um, when we're away. So that's that. In the wardrobe here, we've got a couple of emergency ponchos. And by that, we mean Sarah's got a posh Jules one, which sits in a bag. I've got a five pound one from uh, Decathlon. I um, did have 
the five pound one from Decathlon, <laughs> but the only size that they had when I bought mine was something like a triple XL. It was in massive. Pink. And it properly it, just it, looked like I was wearing it a It was huge and it was so bright pink. It was ice earring. My, mine is like crazy blue. Um, but obviously Sarah's treated herself to a really nice one, which she hasn't even worn yet. I have. You haven't. I did. So that's, um, that's what we tend to keep in there. I think Sarah's uh, travel hair dryer's in there as well. Oh um, yeah, I'll do another video which, on glamping at some point. Yeah, Sarah's you probably... Essential. Sarah's, es <laughs> Sarah's essential <laughs> glamping. She doesn't travel light. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> thanks for that, Will. <laughs> um, and then in our um, airline cupboard, as people call it at the top here, this is where we keep our towels, head towels, foot towels. Um, Many so towels. Sarah's got a mirror in here, which you'll cover in a glamping oh, video. An excellent. Video. Um, we've also got some of this um, uh, pits and bits stuff. Um, so this is a uh, special wash, which you basically don't. It's getting a bit wet, actually. I think we might need to have oh, a look at that a bit bag. Concerning. Yeah. Um, so, that, <laughs> so, so that um, that's uh, waterless shampoo and waterless uh, body wash. Um, so if you're a, if you're somewhere where it doesn't have any of that and you still want to have a wash down, you can use that. Use it with one of those little collapsible or one of those little um, towels I showed you earlier on the little tablet things, and uh, you're good to go. But yeah. we'll put those um, details in the link as well. Yeah, I think I'll. Maybe leave that out. Leave that out and Bit of investigation. have a look and see how much that's soaked in that cupboard. A uh, little collapsible dog mattress there, which again, just nice for the dog. And we just keep that in there. So that is what we keep in our airline locker. So the final thing in the sort of living area of the van is this box that we have wedged between the two front seats. It actually fits absolutely perfectly. It's a nine litre, really useful box. Um, that's the make of it. That's the make of it, yeah. Uh, Will hates it. I think he'd quite happily just ditch it any day. <laughs> but it has actually got some useful things in there, like some water wipes, um, the long lead for the dog for when we get to a site and so she can get out of the van but still be on a lead. Um, I think we've even got the um, midge hoods in there as well. I think, you know, with a, with a kind of hopeful, you know, uplifting edge to the video, I think there's also some sun cream in there. Yeah. Oh, and mosquito repellent. And after sun. Yeah. So, you know, one day... I don't remember the last time we got them out, so one, they're probably one day. really gone off. <laughs> one day. <laughs> we might be lucky. That's probably more where the emergency poncho should be, actually, isn't it? Rather than in probably. the wardrobe at the back, there should be the easy access things from the driver's seat. So the final bit of the jigsaw is this rear wardrobe cupboard. So we call this the garage. People call it different things. Uh, to just open this up. Uh, so starting at the top again, just we've got these liners in here which you can get for this, which stop things rattling around. So in here we've got the tie-down straps for the awning. We've got a small uh, fold-up dry bag. I can't actually remember which make this is. I will find it and uh, put a link in the description below. But this particular one here is just the right size to be able to get our windscreen cover in if it's soaking wet. So that's why we've got this. So it, effectively, if, we, uh, if we've been on a site and it's pouring down with rain, we wanted something that we can literally just throw the windscreen cover in, which won't soak the inside of the van and then we can sort it out later. Much easier to get it in a dry bag than its own bag when you're in a hurry and, and not trying to get wet. Uh, so that's that. Uh, that's just a little fleece blanket that we've got with us in case we're sitting outside and uh, we want something uh, a well, bit warmer. Well, now you say that, we did buy it originally oh, to, um, to actually go on top of um, either this. that bit yeah. or that bit. Yeah. Um, and it does fit, actually. It's the right kind of size because we didn't want to buy the sort of one. proper fitted um, thing for it. Yeah. We'll have to have a look and see if they still do it. We bought it about three or yeah. four years ago, but just it, it's just a really simple fleece blanket. Uh, so moving down then, we've got in here, that's a 12 volt tire inflator just in case. Uh, that's our box of locking wheel nuts and uh, bits and pieces to be able to take the spare off if we need to with a spare safe. This cupboard here we use for loads of pegs, They've got rubber mallet, there's a bit of um, over a repair kit there for our Sea to Summit mattress. That's a bellows bungee, which we haven't actually fitted on this yet, but um, probably cover that in a different video. So that is that one. And then this bottom one here, we've got the green sachets for the toilet. So instead of using liquid, we tend to use those because 
dead easy. You know they're already metered out. You can drop one in, uh, easy, good to go. Um, we've got a small 12 volt, uh, sorry, a small USB fan in there. It's quite handy if it's warm. That's an if adapter. It's yeah, warm. If it's warm. <laughs> uh, that's an adapter for a hookup cable to a three pin plug if we need it. Uh, that is barbecue cleaner, um, which actually the Kadak one's really good. Um, we haven't found anything to better that yet for the Kadak. Uh, and then we've got some fairy lights and other bits and pieces in there, which Sarah wants to carry with us. Uh, so... yeah, I'm allowed to have a little bit of <laughs> something in the van for me and the garage bit of it. Uh, and then the other things you'll have seen before, so things like the shower pocket here, that's got our outdoor shower in, which clips into there. Um, underneath here, ramps, porta potty. Uh, we've got two bags like this. One's got a hookup cable in, the other's got a blue pipe for filling up the water in. Um, and then finally, right at the very back is our Kadak. The only thing we haven't got in here at the minute is our spare gas bottle, which we usually carry with us. We just haven't had it refilled after our trip to the Outer Hebrides yet. Um, we did pick up this Van Gogh bag, which it's it's like a cheap version of the fuel one. Mm, um, we really fancied the fuel one, but I couldn't quite stomach. And it's quite good, actually. After doing this filming, we're going to go and buy some winter bedding plants. And actually, it's going to be really handy for that. Yeah. Um, just to put Shoes them in. Shoes or anything. Shoes, anything. Yeah. Uh, really handy. Um, and actually, I think, from memory, this was about... 20 quid something like that um so quite a bit cheaper than the fuel one uh, and seems to work just right for us so we keep that in there too uh, and that's pretty much it the uh, we keep one of the fly screens with us again i don't know why this time of year but we keep one of the fly screens with <laughs> us Will. just Hopeful. with the lip hanging over the edge underneath there so it's not going to get damaged uh, and that it's probably tore done isn't it i think is pretty much tore done I hope you've really enjoyed rummaging through our drawers with us today. I think we've had actually quite a bit more enjoyment out of it than we thought that we might. It's kind of the second time in about six months actually, because we, we sort of went through everything that was in our spare bedroom after we emptied out our old Cali um, in preparation for getting this one. So that's actually, would you believe it, the cut down version. <laughs> we used to carry around quite a bit more, which is a little bit concerning, isn't it? But um, there we go. Um, please tell us about your ways of storing your bits and bobs in your Cali as well and, and, and your ideas for storage boxes and utilisation of the cupboards and bits. Um, we don't think that we're the experts at this by any stretch of the imagination so we're really interested to hear from you about it's your ideas. It's got to be better. Mm. Got to be better out there. Yeah. So if you've really enjoyed this video, um, please hit that like button below. It helps us to know that you're enjoying these kind of things and spurs us on to do some more. So um, we hope to uh, hear from you soon and uh, we'll see you again soon for some more California, California time. time.